there! Today we're going to make stuffed manicotti. This dish is really special because each shell is hand stuffed, so there's a lot of love that goes into the dish. So I'm going to add some water into my cashews, garlic cloves, a little bit of vinegar, just to give it a tang. For our homemade tomato sauce, I've already got some onions and garlic sauteing in a pan with some olive oil. And then to that mixture, I'm going to add some tomato puree. And I've also torn a bunch of basil leaves. I'll stir that in as well. And then I'm going to keep this simmering on low heat while I finish preparing the rest of the manicotti. So my cashew butter is done, and I'm going to now break up my tofu and add it into the processor right on top of the cashew. Just break it up a little, and then I'll add my salt, some basil, and some nutritional yeast to give it a little cheesy flavor. And then just pulse it a couple of times. Okay, so now our tofu cashew mixture is done. You can see that we've made this amazing ricotta cheese and you'd never know the difference. Now I'm going to fold in some veggies. So I've got some chopped kale here I'm going to add. And I'll start to fold that in. And now I'll add my shredded carrot mixture. And I'm going to fold that in as well. Now that our mixture is all folded together, I've taken a plastic baggie and just snipped off the end because I don't have a pastry filler, so I'm going to use this to fill my manicotti. I'm just gonna fill the bag part of the way because if you fill it too much, you'll get holes throughout. That's just it's a good tip. So here's my manicotti shells. And I'm just going to squeeze um, one side first going to go to the other side. Just gently press to fill this as well. And I've already added a layer of sauce to the bottom of my pan. And I'll just put the manicotti there and then keep filling. Now that I've filled all the manicotti into the pan, I'm going to add the sauce on top. Vegan cheese, you can use your favorite. I'm using Daya, because I think it works really well. Once you've got this all assembled, you can get it into your oven. This smells amazing. I cannot wait to share this with my family. And you might want to share it with your family or your special someone. Mmm. This is perfect. It melts in your mouth and has amazing flavors with the garlic and the basil. You should definitely give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me in my vegan kitchen.